Hey guys, it's Jonathan from Rev Free Moto, and I am here today to, to show you the latest uh, motorcycle, um, I would say in my collection, but I, I did trade the Indian on this. Uh, this is a 2023 uh, Fatboy 114 from Harley Davidson. Got it uh, from the guys at Old Dominion Harley in Fredericksburg, and they, uh, they did me a fair deal on it, and... Uh, Saved a little bit uh, because it was a 2023. Now the 24s are out. Also got 1.99 APR financing for the um, that they had like this year end financing deal. <clears throat> Excuse me. So uh, I just wanted to do a quick walk around of it and uh, show you uh, some of the one of the things I've already upgraded, but also uh, we're going to add some turn signals to the bike today. The Harley uh, LED uh, turn signals. The bike comes stock with um, incandescent or halogen bulbs. We'll show you those in just a minute. Uh, the LEDs are a little bit brighter, a little bit more stylish, and uh, so it's a good, uh, fairly low cost upgrade um, for the for the motorcycle. Uh, also have a Pro Street tuner for the bike and uh, some Vance and Hines Eliminator 300s, I think, that, uh, that are on the way from West End Motorsports. So, um, a lot of times I would have gone through Revzilla, but they were out of stock on the Illuminators. And West Ends actually offers uh, a first responder discount, military discount. So, uh, so good company to work with. They're in North Carolina, so they're not shipping from too far away either, uh, as I'm here in Virginia. So real quick, we'll do a we'll walk around of the motorcycle. Uh, go ahead and turn the ignition on here. Took her for a ride the other day, starting to break her in, and uh, definitely different than the Indian. Uh, a little faster, definitely for sure. So one of the first things that I've done here is I added this swing arm bag from Harley. Uh, nice upgrade. Gave me a little bit of storage. It's not crazy storage, but uh, kind of show you inside there. Um, just enough to throw in a bottle of water or two, some snacks, a baseball hat, you know. Some stuff like that so so that if you wanted to go to the to a quick ride somewhere uh, you don't have to wear a backpack or whatever um, close that up later so the the turn signals we have in the uh, or the brake lights and the turn signals we have in the rear here uh, incandescent or halogen, halogen bulb inside there it's a dual filament so when I'll uh, take a put the uh, give the brake lights a squeeze. All right. It also is going to be flashing on your turn signal there. All right. And we'll show. Uh, we'll replace one at a time and show show the difference between the the two uh, there as well. And then on the fronts. I mean, they're pretty bright. I think they they look classy. You know, they're not they're not bad looking. But the LEDs are probably going to be a little bit brighter. Again, we'll do a side by side comparison. Get this nice LED headlight stock on the bike. Uh, really appreciate that. Like I love the halo around it as well. Very nice. The the Lakester wheels uh, on these models have uh, <laughs> some some space in them. I know previous years they had um, this was all solid. Uh, there was there was a filler here, so I, it's I don't know if it's true, but I've been told that one of the reasons they did that was because these solid wheels were catching so much crosswinds that it was causing um, maneuverability issues with the motorcycle. So the 114 Milwaukee 8 engine, this thing has definitely got some pull. I love the tank badge on these bikes. Absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. The seat 
is not the most comfortable it the padding's not that great so over 100 miles and you start to feel it or at least i do of course uh i'm in my 40s so probably doesn't help um so i'll probably be upgrading the seat at some point um also would like to have something that sits me up just a little bit higher uh stock exhaust very very quiet very 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 nice looking but uh, I'm sure if you've ever owned a Harley, you know that their stock pipes are pretty quiet. And I understand that not everybody, not everybody wants a super loud bike, and that's okay. And I don't want one that's going to deafen me. So it, it allows you to kind of put the pipes on that you want and the baffles that you want. And I, I can appreciate that. So, um, so, of course, to do that right, you want to do it with a, or at least to not avoid the warranty, they say you have to use the Harley's. Uh, Pro Street tuner. So I have the tuner and the pipes are on the way. So that'll be in a future video. And then of course that big fat 240 rear tire. And I'm a little apprehensive about how many miles I'm going to get out of this thing because it's such soft rubber. Now, I have laid out here what we're going to get into today, and that is the, uh, the front LED turn signals and the rears. All right, so we'll get those, start getting those uh, on. All right, so in order to remove the turn signal lens from the stock setup, take a screwdriver. You can use it without the without a cloth, but um, I'm just gonna wrap it in a cloth just to make sure that nothing gets scratched on the housing here. Okay, and so pops right off. And then I'll also use the cloth here to remove the the filament bulb. It's a, a uh, counterclockwise rotation. Comes right out. Got a little gel on it from the factory, looks like. So, we'll put this down somewhere so that it doesn't get scratched and we'll be right back with the other bulb. Here is the front turn signals. Okay, so it clearly tells us which side is up, which is which is nice, which is helpful. All right, All right so after much finagling, I was able to uh, to get it in there. Um, just had to make sure it was lined up the correct way. So just uh, if, if there's anything you um, you learn from wrenching on a bike, is that if it's not working then something is wrong. I've learned that at the cost of many broken things and very many um, pinched fingers and things like that. So uh, then you wanna make sure that this also is lined up the correct way. And that, this should just snap right in. So just wanna make sure that it is lined up. All right, so after much pushing on the lens, it, it did go ahead and, and snap in. So it just took a little bit of extra effort. All right, let's see what they look like uh, as a comparison. First time firing them up, so hopefully they work, they actually work. Alright, 
So here are your here is your comparison. You can see this versus this. And then if we light up the turn signals, they go to amber. So you still have a nice amber turn signal for I'm sure that's the OT rules. Compare that to the Turn the flash the hazards on here for you. Okay, so here we have this. Uh, but it's a nice running light. Nice running light in addition to your headlight. All right, so we'll go ahead and get the other one done. Hopefully a little quicker. All right, now for the left side. in or coin or whatever fits in in there get it right it should go right in okay so you saw that I was having some trouble when I finally lined, lined up the correct way um, it, it went in very easily all right now your wires here uh, kind of right, so we want to make sure that that is Straight up and down, the best you can do. Okay, popped right in. Don't think it's totally on yet, so a little more finesse. You can see these, these things actually will move on you. And so you, there's a uh, nut right on the side here that's a one half inch standard size wrench crescent wrench and you can tighten it up if it comes loose on you just a little bit more tightening on the bottom here and i really don't know that there's any beautiful way to do this other than brute force just try to be as gentle as you can kind of going around the outside of it so that it's flush. And so you don't have moisture uh, winding up inside these housings. And so as far as I can tell, it looks good now. You give it a quick polish. We'll remove this sticker. Remember, the reason that they want it up like that is not, you know, it really, you can put it on any way, but the reason they want it up like that is because there's a drain hole on the bottom uh, of the, on the bottom here. So right here, there's a drain, there's a small weep hole. So if, if there was any moisture to collect inside this lens, then it would be able to escape. And obviously you want it to be able to escape down. All right, so we'll go ahead and turn them on. All right, and check the turn signal on this side. Looks good. Okay, I really like this. I really uh, like the fact that this will add. It's almost like having a, a set of um, 
passing lamps or you know extra headlights in the front you know like on the old school bikes all right now we'll move to the to the rears all right now we're going to install the rears the rear leds these hopefully will be a little easier now that i kind of know what i'm doing so you'll find your uh, your your point where you can place a screwdriver in very gently pop it off okay so pop right off we remove our look at me we remove our halogen bulb These look exactly like the front, so hopefully they're the right part. Hopefully they're red and not and not amber. Okay, so very similar. Um, these are fixed in place, so at least we don't have to worry about the housing moving around. All right, I have my coin here. I'll go ahead and insert that. It's a washer, but you can also use a coin. Insert it in this spot. In, in the slot here. All right, and all right, and it went right in. So that's a good sign. Almost makes it look like I know what I'm doing. There's a there's a wheat pole on the bottom right here. All right, so that is the reason. That you have to install it the way up and down the way that it says. All right. So kind of push it in one way, get that little tab here under the lip. Keep pushing on it on the bottom here. All right, so uh, I was able to get it on completely and you know, actually what I had to do was wrap it, the cloth around it like this and very gently tap it, very gently tap it with a hammer until, um, so that I wasn't going hammer to plastic and, and uh, that seemed to work. So now it's flush all the way around so I can pull Peel this sticker off and then we can do a comparison. I'm gonna turn her on. Alright, so we can see the difference between the two light lamps. Alright, we'll light up the brake brake lights and the turn signals. So here's you got your your flashers, which would be the uh, same as your turn signal. You can see the difference in the. Come down to. Uh, you see the difference. And then we'll add the brake light. Okay. Turn off the flashers. Brake lights. Left. Do the other one. All right, so now the, the left rear. Doesn't require a lot of force. Push in and turn. Turn to the left, comes right out.
washer. Okay, and went right in, no problem. Becoming an old pro with this. This time, I'm going to try bottom first. Try to snap it in from the top. Yeah, it's a little more difficult, so I think there's a smaller tab on the bottom. So I'll take the sticker off. Break. Break. Signal. Nice and bright. Signal. Hazards. Trying to match the angle of the bike. All right, so <laughs> that's gonna do it for today's video. And I just wanted to say thanks so much for watching. I know it's uh, not exciting stuff installing lights, but uh, th hopefully this helped you with the install. Uh, I know it was a learning process for me as well. So hopefully it's helpful to you. And if you haven't subscribed to Rev Free Moto, please subscribe. Um, I appreciate your subscription. Appreciate you watching. God bless. Take care.